Hello friends, in this video we discover how to push your project from your local machine to the GitHub using command line. First of all, you need to install a Git on your local machine. To do this, just navigate to the Google and say git install. And you will navigate most probably to the gitscm.com, but you can navigate to any website in the first results of Google. It will and navigate you to the instructions how to install your git on your local machine. Uh, you need just uh, download the distributor of the git uh, according to your uh, OS. If it's Linux or Mac or Windows, uh, it doesn't matter. Just download the archive, just uh, follow the instructions how to install git and that's it, it will be installed on your local machine. So right now, uh, let's assume you have a project which you want to push to the GitHub and uh, share with your friends. And you have just uh, your project, just command line, terminal, and that's it. Yeah, first of all, we need a GitHub and create a new repository in GitHub. Navigate to GitHub, click New. Uh, select the repository name. Let me get the name WebSocket app. So we call it WebSocket app. And you need to specify its public or private repository. Uh, right now, let's create a public repository. Click create. And once you created a repository, now it's empty. But it has a command, uh, command line, line um, prompts. Uh, for you to push your repository from your local machine. And as you see, uh, here you see git init. It's a command to initialize your git repository on your local machine. So first of all, we need to execute git init. Uh, let's navigate in the command line to the source of our directory and uh, in initialize empty git repository using git init command. So I click cd uh, NetBeans project, Net, NetBeans projects, uh, WebSocket app. Inside the uh, project uh, folder, I specify git init. And as you can see, I uh, initialized uh, empty git repository. And next, you need to add your files to the git. Uh, let me get back to the project. I want to uh, add all project files uh, to the uh, git repository. I need to execute command git add and dot, nothing else. git add dot. Click enter and that's it. Now I need to specify remote. A git remote for uh, my local machine to know uh, where is my uh, web project on github so i specify git remote add origin i just copy paste and i specified git remote and i need to make my first commit so i execute git commit and specify a message. Usually for the first commit, I specify initial commit message, but you can specify any message you want for this commit. Init commit, click enter, and I created a commit, and I need to push, push my commit to the origin. As you can see here, we change um, in this uh, suggestions from the github you can see that they suggest you to change your master branch to the main branch uh, but if you uh, decide to use default settings as master branch you don't need to execute git branch and uh, when you decide to push to the origin you need to specify not main but master branch so I say uh, git push origin master click enter and it prompts me to enter username and password from my github i specify it
and it shows me that support for password authentication was removed on August. So I need to use personal access token. Where I can get this personal access token? Uh, let's navigate to the GitHub. GitHub, uh, your profile. And in the settings, 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 we have the token configurations. Here must be developer settings, and you can see in this inside the developer settings personal access tokens. As you can see, I have one token for my IntelliJ. Let me click generate new token. You can add any node you want. I put it, uh, let me say, to the end of 7. After this record, I will delete this token in the sake of security. And don't forget to put this uh, mark for repo to be able to use this access token to push a repository and click generate and here you see your token you can copy paste let's get back to the terminal execute as you can see now i have email that my token has been generated uh, let me try to push once again username is the same but password is my token and as you can see now I pushed successfully to the git repository using my token as a password uh, let's get back to the repository hit refresh and here you see that I pushed all my files from my project to the remote repository in github and that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. Goodbye.